Where are you going? Space. You're going to space? Are you blasting off in your rocket? No. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Oh. You can't, why not? I'm stuck in the mud. Oh no, stuck in the mud. How can I lift you out of the mud? <coughs> Oh, right. I don't know if I've got any muscles today. I'm not feeling my best today, Freddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Freddy, are you feeling ill? <laughs> you did it? You got out of the mud? Oh, just watch your fingers. Did you get out of the mud? Blast off. <laughs> Freddy, look at all those stars. Wow! Can you see the moon yet? No, not yet. Not yet. Are you going to be Spaceman Freddy? No. No? Why not? <laughs> oh, you need your space boots on. All oh, right. Where's your space boots? Where have you gone? Oh, space boots. Also known as dinosaur wellies. I think that might be your other foot, darling. Other foot. Otherwise, you're going to be walking like you're actually wearing space boots. <laughs> <coughs> oh, there you go. And my rocket. I know, right, and your rocket. That's better. Good boy, can you manage? You're quite good at getting wellies on, aren't you? Look at that. Well done. Is it on? Oh, twist no. your foot. Do you need any help? No. No, okay. It definitely was on that foot though. Put your foot in nice and straight. That's it, well done. You say straight in that time. Hello, hello. I got the other one. Here are the space boots. That's it, good boy. And in it goes. Hooray. Now you're ready to go to space, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> I don't. What? I mean, get something. Right, okay. You need a helmet? Oh, I'll put your helmet on, that's it. There we go, that's better. I can't believe you nearly forgot that. <laughs> You're all ready for blast off now. Wait a second, I've got something again. Goodness me, everybody's waiting for this blooming spaceship launch. What are you getting now? Oh, right, your spaceship bag. You might have to put that on your knee after you get in, I think. If you get in first and then pop it on your knee. Not very much room in these spaceships, is there? So, and you're in and then just pop it. Could might go in the front beside your, um, your space boots or on your knees. Mm, okay. <laughs> it's a bit tricky to fit everything in. Sit down again. There we go. Then just put it on your knees. There we go. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Blast <laughs> Have you arrived in space? Oh, okay then. Are you ready to go to space? Are you? Mummy. Mummy. Mummy, you come down, Mummy. Okay. Mummy, you 
Okay, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get you to space within with that on as well. Um. Oh, have you arrived? No, no. not yet. Oh, okay. I need some fun again. Okay. It's just not very much space in this um, spaceship, is there? I need to get this tube. Oh, okay. <laughs> you should probably get in first and then put your books in after. Your whole list. Thank you. What's this one? Funfeld Ocean. I like that one. Oh, and this one, some stickers. Yeah, all important to take some stickers to space. And I need the poo. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi guys, good morning. It good is morning. Tuesday, the 9th of October. Good morning, Freddy. Good morning. Freddy set. Go. Freddy. yoga. Excellent. Well done. Well done. So I'm actually saying good morning, but it is lunchtime now. Starting this vlog a little bit later at the day. Um, if you saw my Instagram story that I put up, that's because I'm feeling rather rubbish. Cold seems to come back, but I am actually feeling a little bit better than I was earlier. Um, I've had to go out because I've had some blood tests done today, um, which is something unconnected to the fact that I've got a cold. And um, basically, I've noticed that I've had a lot of hair loss recently, and um, not just since I've um, dyed my hair red or anything. Um, so the doctors advised that I had some blood tests done to test my kidney function and my thyroid, loads of things, basically like an MOT. So me and Freddie have been this morning and Freddie got to watch while the nurse was taking the bloods. He was so interested and I think what really helps as well is I don't have a fear of needles or anything like that. So I encourage Freddie to watch um, so he could see the needle going in. Yeah, he could see the needle going in. Um, then he could see like that there was no problem. The nurse was so lovely and that she let him... Yeah, she'll let Freddie hold the little, um, some of the little um, bottles that had been filled with blood ready to be taken off and um, to be tested, which is lovely. So it was a very positive experience. Wow, well, we've got to keep a few of them for Madeline because she needs them for cooking at school. Um, this is what, what Freddie's currently looking at. What have you got? Oh, wow, cocoa pops. You see the cocoa pops and the frosties? Yeah, I'll open them. <laughs> well, we're going to have your lunch, aren't you? What have you picked for lunch today? A pie. A mince pie, that's right. So we're just having a little tidy round, aren't we, before we have our lunch? Okay, you're being gentle. Yeah, that's not a lunch. No, it's not. Okay. So, as I was saying there, um, Freddie had a really, really positive experience going to the doctors and seeing me get bloods taken. And then he was even able to help put the um, plaster on afterwards on the my arm. Um, so, I'll get those results in just a few days, actually. Um, I think most of the blood tests, you know, I mean, it's just been done really as a precautionary measure. Um, <clears throat> But I mean, it's just like with me being really tired and then the hair loss and with changing my hair colour and going red and realised that I wasn't being paranoid about the hair loss because I could see all of the red hair that's been coming out in the brush. So, you know, it could be nothing. It could be the fact that we've been on holiday and we had all that extra vitamin D now that we're back here. We haven't got it as much, um, but we shall see. So we're going to go and get some lunch sorted now. Right, guys, so I've just finished putting out our lunch. Um, Freddy, I've just took Freddy soon, but I'm just going to show you what I've got first of all. Um, I made some vegetable soup yesterday, which you would have saw, which makes about an extra four portions. So I'm actually having a portion of the soup from yesterday. Because I was in Greg's getting a mince pie for Freddy, I also got one of the spicy Mexican bean wraps. And I'm just going to have a big glass of orange juice with that. Um, like I just I feel although I'm full of cold like I feel really really hungry now last time when I was full of cold I wasn't eating proper meals and then I was snacking in between meals and then it was like catch 22 by the time it actually came to meal times I wasn't eating and I was eating rubbish and um, I put on a few pounds because of it and 
I'm just gonna try this time just to eat as healthily as I can. So I basically like stuff in my face now with loads of veggies, loads of beans. I'm hoping the spice from the Mexican wrap will help clear my nose as well. And then a big glass of OJ just to get that vitamin C in as well. I'm just going to start taking everything through. I've just took Freddie's mince pie through as well. Um, now, Freddie has hardly eaten for over a week now um, because of his cold. He's just literally picked at random stuff. I've tried everything to get him to eat. So I've just got a bit of um, soup on my finger. So let's see how you're doing, Freddie. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah? Enjoying that? Mm-hmm. Got some apple juice. You've got apple juice, yep. A nice vitamin C for you there. And then your mince pie. Full of goodness for a grown boy, yeah? Well, let's see how well you get on with that, all right? Good boy. It's time to tackle a job that I've been meaning to tackle for a long time. This. The shower head. The shower head. The shower head, yes. So, what we're going to use for this is... We are going to use this product here called Viacal, which I got for, it was less than two pounds from B&M Bargains. Brilliant removal, brilliant shine. So we're going to give that a go, okay? So I've just sprayed loads of it on here, and then I'll just continue to spray it down this bit as well. I'm just going to see what happens. We've never used it before. It kind of smells like a nice, like, sort of soapy smell. But I can see already that it's starting to get some of the bits off. So it says you can leave it for a few minutes. So I'm just rinsing it off there. I'm really pretty impressed actually. And then rinsing. Put down there. Wow. Oh. That's nice and easy, isn't it? Right, well for a first shot, I don't think that's too bad. What I might do though is spray a little bit more on and then come back and rinse it off again. Hi everybody, so we've just been having a nice little chill in the living room. We've been playing with the toys, haven't we? And um, oh, where you go? Turn around, turn around. Whoa, Freddie's going to have some cocoa Pops. I've just come through and myself a cup of um, let's get a little snack and Freddie's going to have some cold pops. Basically, um, Madeline needed some Rice Krispies um, and she wasn't, it's for uh, food tech, food technology at school, home economics. So I've ended up buying the, um, like a variety pack and I'm hoping that two packs are going to be enough. You've got them out. Oh, excellent. Well done. We'll pick them ones up. What you got? Wow. Excellent. So I'm hoping that um, two little packets out of the variety pack are going to be enough for because I'm not really sure what she's going to be doing with them. The noise in the background is just the kettle boiling. I feel much better than I did this morning. I'm not sure what's happening. Oh, you found some more. Right, we're going to get these put in a bowl and get a cup of made. So I've just sat down and I've got my cup here in my favourite Disney mug. I've also got myself a banana. And this time I've got a naked peanut delight one. This is probably my favourite. But look who's back from school. Madeline's back from school. Hello. And she's got her best friend with her. And they're currently watching Lucas the Spider. Freddie, are you happy now? Yeah. <laughs> wasn't happy five minutes ago, was he, Madeline? No. No, but that wasn't the sort of positivity you want to put in my videos, is it? <laughs> Oh, you guys. Hello. Hello. Don't forget to come in for tea. Hi. <laughs> Good. Tea. All right, bye. Bum, bum, bum. Are you ready for some tea? Madeline, are you ready for some tea? Yeah. Right. Well, I'm definitely ready for some tea. Oh, goodness me. I've just I've zoomed in. Ooh. That's better. Nobody needs to see my head that big. Right, so, tonight, Madeline asked for fish fingers. She's got fish fingers with loads of mixed veg. What's the matter? Oh, he's getting hungry for his tea. And some Mexican style Uncle Ben's rice. <clears throat> Freddie's got the same. And I've got nearly the same, but I've got a veggie burger, <clears throat> like a vegetable patty, instead of the fish fingers. 
So I'm gonna go and have that now. So that is tea all done and dusted, and now I'm just left with the mess to tidy up. And loads of bits and pieces to put away. Oh look, there's Daddy Flamingo ringing. Hello. Hello, you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. No, no, I'm just busy. I'm just filming after tea. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> I just say. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> That's really weird, isn't it? <laughs> so we're just having a bit of quiet time after tea. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. I oh, was just having a bit quiet time after tea, a bit relaxed before we go to dancing. What do you think, guys, everybody? <laughs> okay, Madeline's going to make Freddie invisible right now. Whoa! Where's he gone? Not where he was, Daddy. He's gone. Where is he? Wow, Madeline, you're a magician. Wow. wow. Oh my goodness me. Freddy. Is he still down there? I don't know. No, the space is empty. I don't know. I just kind of see anything. Freddy. I don't know. Oh wow. Wow. wow, Daddy, that was amazing. Madeline's like made Freddy disappear. It's really quiet. My what? Nothing touched my Where? What? Where? Where? Yeah. Something, something's just touched Madeline's leg. Oh, I touched something, I touched something. Did you? Yeah. Oh. Where is he? Can I see him anywhere? Can I see him? Where is he? It's quiet as well. I don't know. It's really quiet. I wonder where I wonder, he is. I don't know, he could still be in the other room. I really I don't, don't know. know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Should we let him come back now? Oh, what? It's floating, it's floating. What's the matter? It's floating. <laughs> The blanket's moving all on its own. Daddy, I wish you were here to see this. Whoa, and oh my god, and the dinosaur head's moving too. Freddy, I'll save you. Right. Well, hang on. If if Freddy is in the room, could he sit on the sofa? Madeline, if, are you there, Freddy? If you want to come back, could you sit on the sofa? Do you think he's there now? Try put it on the sofa, see if he's there. See if he's there. No, he's not there. Freddy, sit down on the sofa, please. So, Freddy, are you sitting on the sofa? Let's try again. We'll try again in three, two, one. Oh, yeah, he's there. Is there any bibbity bobbity bobbity? Yeah, are you back? Oh, my goodness me. Freddy, you went invisible. Freddy, you went invisible. Freddy, you went invisible. Invisible. Yeah, we couldn't see you at all. Again, again. Couldn't see you. How amazing is that? Ready for the car, Freddy? Yeah. yeah, come on then, let's go! Good boy, good boy. Right, so I'm just getting tidied up after tea. Um, this is what we're looking at the minute. Just about done. That's mine and glasses. Madeline's glasses from tea, because we'll probably have a little cool drink later. If we do, we'll just reuse the glasses. Looking a bit clear on the benches. And these things are for Madeline, and she needs to take into school tomorrow. But I think she's going to be doing a little bit of prep beforehand. Um, ready for food tech tomorrow so if she does do any little prep tonight I'll let you have a look later so Freddie's just having a little snack after tea on here he's having some Rice Krispies multi-grain shapes with a little bit of milk on they're nice he's just got his jammies on ready haven't you Boy. so here's a little mystery for you I've just put the milk on Freddie's cereal and I've lost the lid off the milk like where does it go? It was on the bench and it's just gone. So I've had to just wrap some cling film around the um the lid. Like honestly, where on earth could that have gone? That is my mystery for a day. Are you enjoying them, Freddy? Yeah? Good lad. And then what time is it? So in about half an hour we'll be going to get pick Madeline up. I'm dancing. So, it's now time to go and pick Madeline up from dancing again, isn't it? No, 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 no. What do you mean, no, 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 no? 
Come on in, bring your helicopter. No, 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 no. no. Oh, well, I can't leave you here on your own. Come on, come with us. And the bin, mate. Yeah, bring Dee Dee's in the car. Come on then, let's go. Mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go. Beelzebub, has the devil put aside for me? For me, for me. Welcome back to our channel. Apologies if I sound a little bit congested, a little bit nasally, but I am basically. Um, so I've basically just been sitting on the sofa with Madeline and we've just been watching Great British Bake Off. Madeline's just headed off to bed. Really enjoyed Vegan Week. Comment down below if you watch Vegan Week. Let me know what you thought of it. Um, I'm currently rocking the I'm full of cold and feeling sorry for myself hairstyle, which basically involves grabbing a bobble, chucking it in your hair, and hoping for the best <laughs> basically <coughs> excuse me so I was just yeah I was just watching Bake Off Madeline went to bed and now I thought I needed to come and speak to you guys because I needed to end today's vlog and um, so I just thought I've got a few things that I need to speak to you about or tell you about and um, so I thought I better come on and do that before I head off to bed um, so firstly I just wanted to say thank you um, as we've had lots of comments and subscribers uh, getting in touch on um, followers um, Instagram Twitter Facebook there's just been a lot of interaction over the past few days which has been lovely um, a lot of it on the back of um, the Christmas countdown video that I did on Sunday which if you didn't see is available on our channel now you can go back and view that at any time um, it's in a playlist as well with parts one two and three of the christmas countdown if you want to go and have a look at those um, and when we come back on sunday i'll have added something else to the backdrop and i will also be wearing a different christmas jumper yet again um so we did actually have a little discussion on there um between a few of us on the live feed regarding um doing something for charity um so just to update you on that um i have decided that it won't involve um doing anything to my hair <laughs> um we will be doing something for charity um and i will let you know in due course what that is and when that's going to be um but it's going to take all the support from you guys out there um, the next thing I wanted to ask is has anybody got any remedies for getting rid of colds because I'm fed up already because it's like second time round in the space of like two weeks so if you've got any remedies or anything that's going to ease the congestion in my nose I seem to have tried everything that I can get over the counter um, at the point where people are going to be calling on me when boots run out of stuff so anything you've got would be great so that was that right also um, and this is probably the biggie and the thing that's going to take up a little bit of time on our channel um, for the good, for the better, is um, we had a lovely message from Lewis um, who has been subscribed to our channel since 
I'm going to say since we started because, um, or since we started daily vlogging, um, because I feel like he's always been there, he's always commenting on our videos, um, he always takes the time um, just, just to drop by, which is lovely. So hi Lewis, first of all. So Lewis actually made a comment on there and said he hopes that by Christmas we can hit a thousand subscribers. Now that seems like quite a big feat because at the minute we're currently on as of Tuesday the 9th of October we are on 361 subscribers um, so obviously <coughs> excuse me that is quite a lot to go and we need we would have to get another 639 subscribers to achieve that goal by Christmas Day but ever the optimist and always up for a challenge um, oh us the flamingo family um, are ready for that challenge so basically by the time you watch this video there will be 76 days left until Christmas Day and in that time we could get potentially those 639 subscribers to take us to a thousand subscribers by Christmas Day which will then mean that on Christmas Day we can not only do the live video that we're going to do but we can do a live video celebration so according to my calculator because I can't do something like that in my head we would need to gain at least another um well every day if you split it up between the days another nine subscribers per day which doesn't seem a lot if you're a huge youtuber you're probably like pulling in I don't know however many more subscribers hundreds of subscribers a day but for smaller youtube channels like ourselves nine subscribers does still seem like quite a feat but I'm not going to give up. We are not going to give up, um, and we are going to we are going to strive to get those subscribers and get us up to a thousand subscribers by Christmas Day. So I'm starting up the hashtag 1K for Xmas Day, which is a new hashtag which hasn't been used. I did actually drop it once on Instagram today for the first time. So that is hashtag 1K for Xmas Day. Um, I will put that in the description below. But if all of you guys out there who are subscribed, like our videos, share our videos, tweet them out, share our channel, and we all do the same, then you never know, we might achieve it. We might be able to have a big celebration on Christmas Day and go live for all of you guys to see us opening our presents, um, a celebration together. I don't know, can we do it? Can we not? I'm not sure, but I'm up for the challenge. So as much as I'm absolutely loaded with cold, um, I feel like I probably look rather rubbish and ugh, uh, this has got me excited. This has given me some enthusiasm. And do you know what? It doesn't matter what happens. We're still going to be doing the channel. We're still going to be enjoying it, but it would be so good just to hit that milestone. So thank you, Lewis, for wishing that we do get that. And for any of you guys out there who really want to help us, how will anyone help us to achieve those 1,000 subscribers? The best you can do is watch the video, comment on the video, like the video, share it, tweet it out, get it out on Twitter, um, share our page on Facebook, on Instagram, wherever. The more people that see it, the more chance we've got of achieving the 1,000 subscribers. So I'm up for that challenge. I'm up for it. Why not? Let's give it a go. What, I mean, nothing could go wrong. At the end of the day, we're still going to have fun doing it. So there we go. That is our challenge. I mean, I've done um, a month's challenge when we first started YouTube. We said we're going to vlog each day for a month. Could we do it? And we did it. Um, I've done the vegan challenge for a week. But this one seems like the biggie. But I'm up for it. Okay? So it's, I'm up for it. I'm good to go. I'm enthusiastic. I'm positive. And whatever happens, happens. So I'm going to end today's video there guys and I'll see you all back here soon. So good night, sweet dreams and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.